for you my newest guitar. Uh, it's the, the Sterling JP70, it's a John Petrucci uh, signature model 7 string. Uh, the guitar is made in Indonesia, so it's a departure for me. I usually am only into the, the American stuff, but this looks really cool and uh, I want to give it a try. So, and I've, I've been wanting to try 7 string, this is my first uh, 7 string that I've really had any, really spent any time with. Um, it uh, comes in this transparent purple color, which I think is really cool. I think it also comes in green and black, but uh, the purple just caught my eye. So anyway, right now the guitar is uh, almost entirely stock other than I, I put this strap thingy on it. Um, and it, uh, I can tell you everything it comes with. It comes with uh, a couple of Allen key wrenches or hex keys uh, for your bridge and uh, other things you can set up with it. So like your, uh, there's a little screw here for the whammy bar that lets you get the, the exact friction of the bar that you like, so if you want it to stay out of the way, it will. Um, you can adjust the action and all that stuff. And there's also uh, just a, a long sort of metal rod uh, and that you can put in the truss rod here, uh, which I think is a great idea, so that you don't have to take off anything up here. It's really sort of frustrating. And uh, so, yeah, when I got the guitar, I got it from uh, Florida, and I live in North Carolina, so there was a climate change and the net kind of backbowed a little bit. But uh, so I adjusted the truss rod, and then after that, it's been great. I haven't done anything else to it other than uh, I set it up in the uh, the back with the springs here, the uh, tension, so that because I, I play half step down. So the guitar was set up standard tuning, and I play half step down. So um, anyway, yeah, the guitar is it's a basswood body or basswood. I don't know how you say it. Um, Bolt-on maple neck, and my neck. I don't know if you can see it here, but it actually has this really beautiful bird's eye maple figuring in it. In fact, I'll get up close where you can see it. But you can see my neck is really sort of almost figured, which I dig. Um, the neck is unfinished, uh, or un it's not gloss finished. I think it might have a satin coat of some kind on it. Up until about the headstock, and you can see where they've scarfed it off, and the headstock itself is actually gloss. Another cool touch. It has locking tuners, uh, which on a guitar at this price point is really awesome. So locking tuners and a great full floating bridge, which I think works really well. And um, uh, just a Sterling's proprietary nut here. I'm not sure what it's made of, probably plastic, but I mean, it works really well. And these are actually the stock strings. I haven't even changed the strings yet. So uh, the guitar is this 25 and a half inch scale length, um, which is a little longer than I usually play. But uh, I, I felt this was the way to go for seven string. Just, you know, I didn't want anything on the low B to get too floppy. Um, especially, like I said, I two and a half step down. It comes with uh, two humbuckers. So, uh, and again, these are Sterling's humbuckers. Um, they're not the same as the pickups that I'm used to, which are, you know, like the Crunch Lab and the liquefier type pickups, but they are good pickups. Um, I'll change them just because I have a sort of specific pickup sound that I've become accustomed to, but these are good pickups. So, and they're pretty high output, so obviously this is meant for sort of rock metal stuff. Really pretty thin neck. Um, if you're used, like me, used to playing the, the sort of vintage style necks, like on the PRSs and Gibsons and stuff like that, it's, it's pretty thin. It feels a bit more like an Ibanez, like a wizard or something. It's pretty wide, obviously, because it's got seven strings on it, but um, not, not so wide that you can't get used to it. So it's been a pretty easy transition for me. Um, I think that's all the main stuff. You know, master volume, master tone, three-way toggle. Um, so, uh, again, probably later I'll put a push-pull in and all that stuff for fun, but it doesn't need it. So yeah, the guitar is really good. I got this guitar um, off eBay for about $550 shipped to me. came with a gig bag, uh, which is a really nice gig bag, actually. Um, and uh, yeah, I've been really happy with it, so I'll just take you through some of the, the sounds and you can check it out and see what you think. Alright, we'll start out with a clean sound. Um, this is the first channel, my Mesa Mark IV. Um, everything in the demo is coming through the Mesa Mark IV and my oversized Mesa 112 cabinet um, with a vintage 30. Well, actually, it's a warehouse retro 30. It sounds like a vintage 30. And uh, yeah, a little bit of delay and reverb from the TC Electronics G Major. So we'll start with the bridge pickup clean. Sounds like this.
it's nice and woody. We'll go to the middle position here, both pickups together again. <laughs> Really warm, and I, th I think sounds great, especially for a 24 fret neck pickup, which are, I think those are usually kind of a little brighter, but this sounds really good. So, neck pickup. fat crunch sound from the lead channel of the Mark IV. Uh, just a tiny little bit of reverb from the, the G major and a noise gate, but that really doesn't play much of a difference. I'm using very little noise gate, so. Anyway, sounds like this, starting on the bridge pickup, down all the way up. Both pickups on. sound here so again the lead channel on the Mark IV but I've added my uh, hardwire overdrive pedal and some delay and reverb from the G major and uh, we'll start with the bridge pickup and we'll just play a little bit around with some lead stuff see what that sounds like I'll use the bar a little bit and we'll talk a little bit more about that afterwards so here's the uh, the lead sound with the bridge pickup <laughs> both pickups together.
finally, let's talk about the whammy bar system, or the Tremolo, Vibrato, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm usually pretty skeptical of non-locking vibrato systems uh, outside of sort of uh, American high-end guitars because I think typically um, they seem like a good idea, but for whatever reason they just don't work. You know, whether the nut is not cut properly on a guitar, or the whammy bar, the, the, the knife edge doesn't work well, or you know, there's all kinds of different reasons why it doesn't work. Um, it's, it's almost never the tuners, but locking tuners are just a plus. Um, but this, the bar on this works really well. Now, what I should say is that I haven't done much of a setup on this guitar at all because I wanted to give you really like a the most honest uh, demo review that I could of the guitar. So this guitar's not set up to the peak of its potential. Um, after I spend a little time with it and work out all the kinks, you know, in a couple of weeks or something, it'll be really, really, really good. Um, so, but as of right now, the bar stays in tune pretty well. Um, I would say not as well um, at the moment as one of my PRS trims, um, but like I said, I haven't done all the work setting it up. So, this guitar is, it has a full floating bar, so basically what that means is you can go down or up, and in this case, the down or up action, because it's, it's just a two-point uh, fulcrum tremolo, I mean, it's really drastic. You can go way down or way up, um, which of course, if you, you know, go out of hand with will knock the guitar out of tune. But, if you want to do some of this kind of stuff, that doesn't knock the guitar out of tune. That works fine. You can pull up on it a little. You know, you can dip down. If you want to do a little bit of a dive bomb, you can do that too. Sorry about that, that was my dad bringing me a package of win for graduation, which I will show you later. It's really awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, so about the bar. Yeah, it pretty well stays in tune uh, with the normal use, like you would use a sort of vintage style bar. Um, but if you get, a, uh, right now, if you get a little out of hand with it, like with the diving and the pulling and stuff, uh, the strings might catch behind the nut and it'll go a little out of tune. Um, so I'll show you what I mean, like if I really dive hard here, like a Floyd or something, it uh, will probably go out of tune. Yeah, so I mean, it, it went out a little bit. Um, and then again, like the pull up. Uh, well, it's proven me wrong. I guess uh, maybe the strings have had time to settle in. But um, either way, I'm going to do some little modifications to it um, where I'll, you know, kind of make sure the nut is cut exactly the way that I like it. I mean, it's already really good. This is a, there was a really good uh, factory job other than, like I said, the neck was bag bowed from shipping. Um, but overall, the guitar was was pretty well looked after up until it got to me. So, yeah, all in all, um, obviously this is a this is a foreign-made guitar and that, that, you know, typically is gonna lower the quality some, but on the same token, for the money, this guitar is tremendously good. So, would I say it's as beautiful and full sounding as one of my $3,000 Paul Reed Smith guitars? No. But is it, yeah, I mean, probably as, as far as guitars in this range go, for this price range, I don't know that I've played anything that sounds better and or nicer, you know, stays in tune, as good as this guitar. So, um, good work, Sterling. <laughs> this is great. I like it enough that uh, I'll probably get one of the six string models too because I just think it's a cool guitar. It feels good and it's different than the Paul Reed, so it's a little something to change up. And uh, so yeah, this is my first seven string. I'm gonna play with it some more. I'm sure you'll see it more if you watch this channel. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, you can check out uh, Sterling at their website, which I think is just sterlingbymusicman.com maybe. I don't know, you, you can just search Sterling by Music Man on Google and you can find them. They have all kinds of great guitars, different JP models and stuff. And uh, yeah, you know, like the video, subscribe, and uh, I will catch you next time. <laughs>